Okay, so I've noticed that Deacon likes it when you do a robot mission, or except a robot mission. Uh, not so much when you shoot all the robots up, but he likes it when you're nice to the mechanist and you take on a mission. Are you ready to start tracking down some robots? Isabel, are you tracking any more of your rogue bots? Uh, yes, I can. I mean, I am. I'll, I'll locate one for you. Okay, you don't have to... I'd like to trade a few things. Sure. Take a look. And we'll... I've only picked up the water from the... from the castle. That should be enough to cover this. And then some. Like I said, and then some. Let's see, we'll give her... We don't have completely soak her, but yeah. And if we say I've again... I've got a tracking signal from another one of my bots. I hope you can take it out before it does any more damage. Boom, rogue robot. Usually I get a like. Deacon like that. Okay, since we're in a hurry, one of the things we can't get through there. I always, why do I always think you can get through there? One of the things we can do is dump the stuff here. And, alright, we have. We'll carry the rest of the water with us here as we go along. Rogue Robotics. Well, it looks like there's only one outside Vault 81 or down from Oberlin Station. Let's. That's right down the walk from Oberlin Station. Let's try fast travel there. And I'm thinking this might just become, this particular video might just be a montage of robot hunting. So a lot of different dates on this one. We'll see how it goes. Just as a heads up, as I do this particular video, I'm just back from the dentist. So if I'm tripping over my, my words and my mix all's tucked up, that's probably why. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Pretty much out anywhere. You gotta take things one day at a time. Inventory. There you go. My hunting rifle. There's, there's a lot of potentially bad things out here. Wow, you, you're, you're dressed up so dirty I thought you were one of them. Junkaroonies? Okay, we, we should be. We got fun time incoming. Well, that got the blood pumping. <laughs> and what do we get? A Robo Brain torso! Yay! Oh, make you nervous, but I don't think we're alone. <laughs> I'm not hitting them. They're dancing around. You know, let's let's just get silly. <coughs> Any more of them? Bunch of them. This is the part where you're supposed to die. Well, you're really good at this. Too good. You've changed clothes again. Alrighty, and now let's just jump right into the montage. They should be right around the corner. <clears throat> oh, they should be right around the corner. At least one was right around the corner. Contact detected. Possibly. Since. Gotta be more. Some parts. There's the two. He's been blown to bits. Yet he's still alive. 
boys. Sensor reading detected. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good radiation storm. Yeah, that's what we need here. We gotta... Need new clothes? Hey. What you need? Hey, Deacon. You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Wait, you read it, didn't you? Why shouldn't I read it? Just in case it gets stuck in your head. You know, like if I say Rad Roach. Now, don't think of Rad Roach. See? You thought of it. And if it's a real simple code, then one slip and uh, goodbye, Deacon. Anyway, only read it if you have to. Well, there you go. At least we got some trees up again. We're feeling Christmassy. Merry Christmas. Sorry I sent your sister way away. I didn't know what the trick was sending them back to their original place until after she'd been already assigned. You know... They really should fix that. You should be able to, to restore people to where they want to go. Like, this guy can still go back to, to his home. He can go back to the railroad because I've never sent him to a settlement. Once you're in a settlement, they can only go to settlements. And I think that's really annoying. Especially at Christmas time. Here in the town. <sighs> well, here we are. Hey, it looks like everyone's having a good time. Huh? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. How's everything going? I just thought I'd stop. You know, it's Christmas and all that. Doesn't want to even know about it. <coughs> Getting this place together was an uphill battle. I like to think I won it. something we're back in business you know you're really good at this
This. I don't know if even a scout would take that. I've done this hundreds of times. You think you'll be any different? The trick to this is don't die. He made that look easy. Why do they always gotta fight back? See where I'm going with this, right? What's going on here? <clears throat> yes. It's when the scavengers come down here. This weird. Just. Standing there. Look at Protect Rock. Okay, okay, I'll hold up here for a minute. Let's just, let's step back here for a moment. I, I don't know if this is working as a video, really. No, I mean, we're showing a technique. This this is a way to get likes for Deacon and parts for the robots, and you, you, it, it, you're doing water runs in between, and you saw some defensive settlements in there, and blah, blah, blah. But it is just, a, you know, a good old section of, unadulterated violence with no real plot to it and that's not really what this channel is about I mean yes I do shoot a lot of things in these video games most video games are shoot 'em ups I mean between Team Fortress 2 
then GTA 5, and of course Fallout. I mean, you're, just, you're, you're using a lot of shotguns and stuff. I mean, it's just how it is. It's the nature of the game. But I mean, just just focusing on the violence, I do Even if it's against robots, and not all this is against robots, of course, but robots and monsters and stuff. Even if it's just that. That's not really the style of the channel, you know? It's just not what we do here. There's usually, like, if, alright, if you're doing a robot hunt and you go through the whole process of going through the, uh, going through the wilderness, trying to find them, when are we gonna find them? When is the exciting moment when you finally get the target? Okay, that's, that's one thing. Just when things get blown to crapola, well... I must apologize. Okay, I... I we tried it. I don't know. We comment in the description if you really want more of that. But I, I'm thinking let's let's cut this short right now and uh, let's do something a little more pastoral, a little more creative. We've got we've got parts here. We've got stuff. You know, you got. Let's see what robot parts do we have? From all of that, let's see. We go to inventory. Maybe maybe mods we need to get to. So I have some of that. We got an Assaultron head, a bunch of Assaultron left arms. That's just great. Um, Assaultron torso. So we can do an Assaultron pretty handily. Robo brain left arm, a Robo brain torso, and a sentry head. Uh, There's a lot of shooting just to get those few parts. But we were doing water runs in the meantime. See, the little water runs in between them. Perhaps we should seek shelter. We're in the castle. What do we have to seek? We're, we're, this is... This is unbelievable. By the way, it's an interesting thing. When you look at the workshop, My systems are continuing to it just says defense 9999. Okay, so we don't know how much defense we really have there. But, if you look at the data over here, just a little tip, and you go to workshops, the castle, which I don't know why our happiness would be going down. The defense is 2,409. That's a lot of defense. We, we should be fine. Oh, look. We lost a pistol. No, I'm not ready to part. I'm not, I'm not taking you anywhere. Why can't I go back into the workshop? Workshop. I wanted the pistol. Store it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But what we will do now is we're going to call back our robots I here. Trust you're enjoying my company. Raft. Let's start out with Razor Rumble. I have a plan for him. Now, for the torso. We're going to upgrade his torso to a sentry torso. We're going to do... This will give him the shoulder slots. Let's see... Let's do gas lancers. You might say, why? Because if I have Fat Man's going off inside the darn castle, that's not going to be good. For some mod we want... A resistance field, yes. Now, for the left arm. Um, I'm thinking, do we want to go sentry left arm? Yeah, we'll go sentry arms. Oh, we don't want that. We want, um... For the left hand. What kind of thing here? Well, let's see. We need at least one hand that's uh, like a functioning kind of hand here. Deep to the left hand. Claw? Broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. The Saltron Shot Claw. There you go. Oh, we do we do any left hand? Well, left hand scattered laser. It's like a shish kebab now. I'll try to find something he can manipulate, like, you know, food with. 
but still does stuff. I I'm thinking maybe a protection less than automatic laser. It's a gun, it's a hand, it's a nice balance there. Okay. Right arm. I want big arms on him. You gotta like the look on this when it's all said and done. That's just gonna be... Now, this, because it is a razor remote. Vice grip flamer, we need a blade. See, the hook will kind of work. Not really very much. Shock. The axe would kind of work. Smoke cloth. Nothing to report at the moment. Station for update. Let's see that one. Hammer, no. The drill, no. Saw blade. That kind of fits. But I'm thinking something more precise. Stealth blade. And that almost looks like a scythe for uh, for taking down razor grain. You want to make that one? Is there anything even more? Nah, yeah, that's it. The stealth blade. That's what we're going for. Okay, well, we're gonna get into armor and everything after the, you know, in a bit. Legs. We're gonna go for a Sultron legs. That's right. Make the Sultron legs. And so now you see what we have here is, you know, basically the kind of wrestler look that Razor Ramon would have had. Big on top, fast on bottom kind of look sort of thing here. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll continue. We go hydraulic frame, primal plate. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Let's go hydraulic. I like hydraulic frame. I really do. He doesn't really have a whole lot. Yeah, let's hydraulic him up. Because he does do some melee stuff here. You might want him to be as tough as possible. Torso. Front armor. Now, you might want some voltaic armor just to boost the, that arm. see it from there, but we can... Hydraulic would match everything up. And we had a front hydraulic frame. That didn't cost us anything. Very nice. Everything seems to be proceeding according to plan, sir. Now, resistance field. This is radio yeah, that's just how we have them all tricked out. We're good. Now. It's just past 10 p.m. Nothing new. Now the head. This this gives us the real feel for him, you know? The Assaultron head would match the Assaultron legs. Probably give us, you know, the kind of feel for the thing. Sentry head. Got the nice little glow going. Sentry factory head. That's different. It seems like they've added some stuff in here. Robo brain head. Oh, this isn't taking head. This is just. Wait, here we are. Damn, it's a salt on head laser. Short engagement distance for accuracy. I mean, I like the, the idea of the Robo Brain Head almost on everything. Because you got the Mesmertron attack. Long engagement distance. But will a long engagement distance you know, work with his loadout? All day, all the and of course, if we do the Robo Brain Head, we could imagine it's really Razor Ramon. I mean, that would be kind of fun. For the, you know, for the real Razor Ramon out there, listen, I'm not trying to say that we have real life here had Brain be stuck in a robot. But, 
for now, just as a role play, I think we can all agree that that would be kind of cool. But does it screw up the build? Ah, I think let's go for it. I'm making a robo brain head with the, not the, the Spartan helm increases melee damage. Improves damage resistance. Oh, we could get a straight up hydraulic on it. All hydraulic armor. Improves damage and energy resistance. So that improves all the damage. Let's get all the damage. And then, uh, we need arm armor. This is left arm, left arm armor, hydraulic frame. Actually, on that one, we might want to do voltaic frames because it's got a laser on it. Which gives us an extra left hydraulic arm. Aha! Get that. And we'll put... Yeah, we have, we have to put hydraulic on that. There's no voltaic option. Right hand armor, hydraulic frame. Silk blade. Hydraulic. Okay, so he's all hydraulic except one boosted arm, which I think works. And now we need paint. Oh, did we get the armor on the leg? Yeah. Voice, we'll keep the voice the same. Paint. Now, razor were a lot of wild colors. Green. Not a lot of wild. Orange could work. There's no purple? There's pink. That doesn't really work. It's too mild. I think orange might be the best we can do here. Black paint. Why didn't they go with purple? Dark blue, gray. Okay, we're going orange. And we'll release it. Can you build me a mansion? That looks pretty cool. This unit is currently unit remaining. Factory default mode. Oh, here. Well, we can, we can get you. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. Radio freedom. Voice of the Minutemen. All quiet. Okay, we need to walk away from him. Stay safe out there, people. And walk back. This is Radio Freedom. I don't know. How do we get him back out of... Oh, maybe we need to do this. Craft. All quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. Okay, let's bring up Razor Ramon. Existation. Identity can No? I guess I'll just ask me if he's in place. I was going to put him back into uh, personality mode, but that's a good looking robot. And here we have Spuds and McKenzie. Now, it's a funny story about Spuds. When I first I built the basic so Spuds much. here, the uh, it was Super Bowl Sunday, or right before Super Bowl Sunday, somewhere around Super Bowl Sunday. And after I'd made him, of course, Spuds and McKenzie returned to the Super Bowl commercials, and it was a very strange thing. I thought I was doing a very esoteric throwback to the 80s kind of name, and uh, there he was, back again. So I've given him... He's got a, uh, a shock hand kind of thing going on here, a shock claw. Is that shock claw on the left, on the uh, right arm? Let's see, right hand, protector on right hand, shock. Let's, let's, we want to mix that up to its uh, actual, I want it to be a claw. He has to obviously get the potatoes with something. That's it, an Assaultron right shot claw. That's what we want, that kind of shot claw. And I think we need I different no armor for that there. So he's got a shot claw and a shish kebab, so he can actually bake the potatoes 
that he is he's, he's rendering. That's just really cool. He, he's getting out of it. As he harvests, he can cook. And I think, you know, something about a potatoes and a shish kebab seems like it works. And so that's where we went with that. Whoa, where'd he go? Where? Buds? He just teleported someplace. Um, I was going to say he has a beep beep voice. Because so I'm starting to see the value of that. Actually, I'll be back later. Understood. Can't you just feel the history? Feel you can. sandy. Now for Melonhead, the only thing I've really done is get him a green paint job, factory armor, and a couple of lasers in his hands. Because, you know, there's just something to be said for the stock looking Protectron. They're just, they just look cool. Now for the Great Cornholio. I'm trying to think what would the Great Cornholio like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spikes. Yeah. More spikes. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, no, that, that's less spikes. Hey, ooh, that, that looks mean, but I it sounds good. But no, I want spikes. Ooh, that's got, that's got sharpie parts, but no, 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 I want spikes. Spikes, 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 spikes. spikes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spikes. Yeah, yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah fire. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's only popcorn. Yeah. Okay, where'd he go? There's some weird glitch going on here. Unfortunately, there's no selection for us having to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think definitely yellow in honor of the hair. Don't you think, yellow? Yellow? And there you have it, the great Cornholio. Exit the station. That's not bad. He's not going, not doing anything. I have to let him clear himself out here. Okay, he's out of factory default mode and he's walking back to the corn. And here we have Farmer Miller in his dungaree blue. Again, mostly stock except for lasers in his hands. Go Farmer Miller. Named, of course, after Miller's Orchard around here. From my local hometown kind of area. It's so hard to edit robots here. To work on robots with a cow's butt in your face. But we'll, we'll soldier on. Okay, it's a little hard to see what's going on here. As you can see, I've made an homage to Salty from Thomas and Friends. Yes, he's not a train, but the colors are right. We got this mix of orange and yellow and red. I gave him tracks so that he's more train-like. And it's an interesting thing. is because I've given him this set of things, his head is way bigger than the other head. A pleasure to see you They're both... Are you ready to they're depart? both pro 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 protectron heads. And yet... One gigantic. This unit is ready to serve. Actually, I'll be back later. Yeah, cow in the way. I wonder what you'll build next. I wonder when you'll get out of the way. Huh. A pleasure to see you move. again, sir. Get Are you moved. ready to depart? I'm ready for you to depart. <sighs> we can keep traveling as much as you want. Okay, let's do this. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are okay, it's a fast travel a little bit. Yeah, we're starting to run into, you know, lots of robot syndrome where they tend to talk a lot. But out of my gourd now. Eh, too creepy. Okay, what do you think? Orange, pink, red, white, yellow. There's so much ahead to discover. Orange can of works. We haven't done anything pink in a while. Let's just make it pink. This could be different. I gave him a bleep bleep you voice. You like the space monkey uh, helm there? You've got a head of a space monkey. Drawing near. 
And with that, we've modified everything that I've already built, but I do want to build some more. Let's see. So I opened up a couple more bars just to increase happiness. A little tip from the friendly neighborhood Oxhorn, link in the description. Alright, now we've built Automatron 979. He's a, a pure Robo Brain. I want to have a pure Robo Brain on there. He's got the Cyclops helm because I love the Cyclops helm. It's just great. He's got the serrated blade hammer thing going here because, you know, that was the closest thing I could see to a pizza cutter. He's got a regular Assaultron claw going on over here. So he'd be tough in battle, but he is going to be a bartender. Yes, he's going to be a restaurateur. And we're going to name him after one of my old favorite pizza places. One of the guys, Giovanni's used to be a place over in Dunmore that we used to go to all the time. He's one of my clients. And if you, uh, if you watch my videos, you know that if you watch the TF2 ones, that when I play Demoman, my Scotsman Skullcutter has been renamed Giovanni's Pizza Slicer in honor of that great establishment. He's since retired. And so here's one more ode to Giovanni here. An homage. Enter. And now let's us give him an assignment. Help defend Taffington Boathouse. Great. Well, I'll do that in a minute. We'll get the tip to go here. Now I've set up. Deep in the back here. This is the one we want to give him. That might be a little tight for a robo brain. Dooby 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 Aha, this is perfect. Let's see, let's make sure it assigns. The resource is now assigned! Yes. And we'll zip out here. Watching Oxhorn found out that you can just continually keep uh, improving your happiness by adding more bars. Again, link in the description there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just barring up the place. There he goes. Try and get the happiness going. Now we have to take a quick break here to defend the Taffington Boathouse. You want to come along? Let's go. Let's see. It shouldn't take long. Taffington. Okay, let's... Let's do that over. It happened so fast that um, you didn't even say, didn't even get a chance to hit the thing. So let's let's load. Why was the heavy machine gun turret listed as red? Um, is it over? A board? That's all he had was a board? Doggy dog there is blown to smithereenies. Let's see, do we have any? That looks damaged. Can I, am I outside the realm here? Is it just a matter of getting in and... Do I have to... no? I don't, can't repair it. It's... no, I don't want to do that. That's gaping. Get a vision here of what's happening. It's, oh, yeah, another dog. That was a rock. It's pretty darn quick. I haven't been up here in a long time. Did we complete this? Are we done? Data? Yep, we're done. Okay, back to robots. Okay, here we have Automatron 527, which you'll see is straight up a Solitron except for the Robo Brain head. I do love that Mesmatron kind of thing, and I do like sometimes the concept that there's a human brain in there, even though it's probably the creepiest thing in the whole game. Now, this one's gotten a female voice. And it's going to get pink paint, which is, I realize, kind of a sexist thing, but... Well, I don't know. Do we want to do something different? Maybe white. White might... Manila. Manila paint. 
Play blue. Trying to think. No, you know what? We're going with Manila. For the, the color of flower for this robot. It is also dedicated to another of my favorite pizza places. This one is still around. It's up in Daleville. And we often order a pizza there from work. So well, that's good. Wonderful pizza up there. And I'm looking for like there's a selection for name. We're going to go for... There we go. It's just that simple. Okay. K's Pizzeria, folks. Daleville. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Exit to station. And now, and now we're going to... Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Sure. Why not? Sure. That would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? Just realize that has an automatic chain oiler on it. Actually, I'll be back Which later. Which is probably bad for the well, pizza. Sir. But we can just imagine that it's... Uh... Now watch this. Load it up. And you... If we have pizza down here, we need pizza upstairs. I think that's... Uh... That's just a truism. Beyond the end over here. Yes. Head right there. Wait for it to say, yes, this resource is now assigned. Too many robots. I like robots. So that should be increasing the happiness. So much happiness. At least it's not raining. Now. I tell you right now, we already have a cornholio. So guess what we're gonna go with here? I, I hate to leave him lonely. And dark gray to go with that old dark gray t-shirt, I think. There you go. You can always visit him at one of the other bars. He's just this heading unit somewhere. Is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Sure. That would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again. A lot sir. of sinister play Are you going ready to here. Depart? Very well, sir. Okay, so he's saying very well, sir, instead of uh, uh, but Again, within the limitations of the game. We're now gonna go. Which way was the other one? I think this one was. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Just hang out. He looks smaller there. Did, wasn't he bigger? I I just don't know. Butthead. Come on, resource assigned. Uh, right. Did something get goofed up? With a robot named Butthead, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that I have trouble assigning him to a task. Stay safe, people. Nope, it went. He's walking. Doop 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 doop. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ten bar. <laughs> and here we have another Assaultron build. Yeah, that's, that's right, we're going all the wrong button. Back out here, back out here. And this one, I'm going to name after a, a friend in college whose family owns one of the best Chinese restaurants in the area. So let's let's go. We'll do that. I don't know if he he lives out on the coast now, on the west coast. I haven't seen him in ages, and I miss the dude, because he's just an awesome guy. So here's a, a tribute to my friend here. And we're going to, let's see, let's pop out of here now, exit the station. What we building today? Lots of stuff. Then we're going to go good ink. And sign. He's got a stealth blade going. Which I thought would work with kind of a Chinese motif. Not that these people are going to get any of these foods. They're not going to necessarily get pizza. I don't even know what they're going to... And let's 
see, we'll put this one right here on the end. We want to try to have as much a good, uh, good location near the chairs. Is that assigned now? Yes. And and I fell off the hill. Okay, well, let's just... Okay, so... That's assigned. That's assigned. These are all assigned. Not assigned. We need one more bot for there. Two more bots for here. This is a double restaurant over here. So three more robots to really round it out. And I don't know that I have enough stuff to do that. There she is. She's cooking away. Mm, stir, stir, stir. Well, a ghost turns the other spit. That's just... We have some ghosts around here. There goes Wing Wild in. I'm actually not sure his family still has it anymore. I know it transferred ownership a little bit, but it might be to a different family member. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can make more bots. Perhaps if more robots possessed my mercy algorithm. Nope! That's as much as we can build for today, folks. So you don't have don't get to watch me crank out any more of them. But we're set up and you know eventually we'll do a couple more runs. And uh, let's us uh, exit the station. Wouldn't let's be, be honest here. Them. Let's be honest here. We're we're in pretty good shape. I mean, we've got we've got all kinds of robots going on here. Um, food is up to seventy two. Well, the food wouldn't change because most of the food bots were already uh, assigned. But the happiness is now on the way up. And yes, I know some of you looking at it and say, "Well, Vince, you're never going to need sixty nine beds." <laughs> but um, you'll notice people's up to 35 because we've been adding robots and that counts not that they need a bed I don't think but on this robotic note it's a very robotic centric kind of thing today okay let's, let's jump up here for a minute just looking over things here and these things are we've got some stuff going on here Lost track of how many blisters I got. got people working out. Seems to be if you work? To oh, I remember there was something I needed to do. Do I still have? Uh, I might have stored all that junk. Ooh. Yeah, I stored. I got a bunch of uh, balls for the table. Yeah, stored them up at Red Rocket. Oh, well. you get these things. You forget. You can grab those later. But I mean, as far as everything's going on here. We've got food going on, rockets. We've got more defense than you can shake a stick at. Nothing is going to bother this place. For any, I don't care what goes on. I mean, unless you drop a dozen behemoths on it, they're all going to melt. Is Ada hitting on uh, when? He's still in factory default. It clicks in every once in a while. Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. I hope you didn't do anything that makes me need to be there for this you. Unit is... What? Most robots aren't self-aware. You can hardly blame them for carrying out their function. The reminder of the fight. <laughs> the guy can't get up where he's going. It's supposed to work because everyone's just hanging out on my steps. Is it just is my a better time for that talk? Uh, another talk. Oh, uh, let's do what conversation? What conversation? Just all that stuff about how I was feeling about life when you first met me in Concord. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't talking complete nonsense. I understood. And I appreciated your trust. Oh, the romance. Like that. Oh, the bromance. Good. Are you I wearing lipstick? I was more coherent than I thought. It's just... I was ready They're to give shiny. up. I didn't care if I lived. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll do the time warp again. You don't have to listen to Preston and tell me how much his life sucked. I really appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. 
The truth is, it's been a long time since I, I had a friend. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud to my core. When I was young, a, a hell of a long time ago, I was, well, scum. I was a bigot. A very violent bigot. We all make mistakes when we're young. A mistake or two? Yeah. But what I did? I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a synth. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, a lynching. The Claws leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the synth. Looking back, I'm not so sure. I'll withhold judgment until you finish. Thanks. So I turned my back on my brothers, broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was... she just was. Leaving the Death Claws took a lot of courage. Leaving wasn't free. They took it out on my sad hide. But by the time I met Barbara, they'd moved on. We were trying for kids, eking out a living. Then one day, it turns out my Barbara, she was a sin. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the Death Claws found out, but there was blood. Shit. I'm sorry. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the Claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. After what happened to my family? I can understand. I thought you might. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Dez, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. Hey. Everyone's got a past. The important thing is you're trying to make up for it. I'm still on your side. I'm not the hugging type. So, yeah. Good talk. Hey, we maxed him out! Huh, it worked out better than I thought. Hey, Cal, to call you a friend. Yeah, it's, everybody's happy to be my friend. That's just great. So much you had to discover, that's true. All right, folks, I think, except for later on, we'll add some robots in here. I think this is mostly what done. Is we're out here for. I'm so, we'll you can, you can bet there'll be a couple robots up here. I don't know that I'll do a video know. about it. But from here on out, now I gotta think. I need to think which way we're gonna go, and I think our path leads to the glowing sea. Have a seat and think about that. My databanks are continuing to accumulate vast amounts of data regarding the common. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot to absorb. But what it's all about. You got lots of time to absorb it because guess what? This video is over. This is your black knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. Everyone's got a past. The important thing is you're trying to make up for it.